Open CapCut and press New Project. Select the video you want to import and press Add button. Now just to show you very quickly that this footage is not looping. As you can see clearly, it has a jump from the end to the very beginning. Now I will delete that duplicate and I will use two fingers to scale down the timeline and tap anywhere to deselect the footage and you will see the overlay option. Click on it, click on add overlay and choose exactly the same footage and click add. Then press and hold the bottom footage and drag it to the right side. Make sure it overlaps with the video above it. Then select the bottom footage and in the menu below find a transform option. Click on it, then go to advanced, zoom and make sure we have a 100% scale and then confirm. Go back to the main menu and there find opacity. And just before you click on opacity, make sure the time indicator is at the very beginning of the footage below. Then click on opacity and reduce it to zero. Add a keyframe and then move the time indicator just before the top video is finishing. And here increase opacity to 100 and as you can see the keyframe is being added automatically. The move time indicator between those two keyframes. Then press on this button, find ease, click on it and confirm it. This way our animation is more smooth and as you can see this way we created a transition from one video to another. Then still by having the bottom footage selected we scroll to the right perhaps three or four seconds before the video is finishing find split button and click on it then tap on the splitted footage hold it and then drag it all the way to the very beginning zoom in into the timeline with two fingers and then select the video go to the options and find opacity again and procedure here is very similar but this time we're gonna add a keyframe with 100 opacity first Move the time indicator before the video below ends and reduce opacity to zero. Press confirm. Then move time indicator anywhere between those two keyframes. Press this button, ease and confirm. And here you go. You have an absolutely seamless loop that transitions from the end to the beginning without any jumps or cuts.